Hey everyone, welcome to the Wild Poke Shop, and I am here today to thank you all for helping me reach 250 subscribers. To celebrate, I'm going to be showing off some of my slob collection, and I will be giving away one of these slobs to a lucky subscriber. To enter the giveaway, all you have to do is be subscribed, leave a comment in the video, and leave a like. Now, without further ado, let's get into the collection. So, to start off, I'm going to start with my personal grail. The Umbreon VMAX Alternate Art from Evolving Skies in a PSA 10. Now, this card is very special to me, not because of the card that it is, but because of how I got it. I got this card from meeting Pat Flynn at Deep Pocket Monster and Sean from Pokeball. I was in California for only a week, and I happened to be able to meet up with them at an event, and I was actually featured in one of their videos. I will link that video in the uh, description if you guys want to see. But, in the video, I ended up winning this card at the end, and I graded it, and it came back a 10. So, this card is very, very special to me. It's never going to leave my collection, and let's move on. So next, I have the Pikachu uh, Metal card from the Celebrations UPC. It, I have it in an 8.5. Um, it's graded with CGC, because at the time, PSA was not grading metal cards. And I know that these cards in particular are quite difficult to grade sometimes because they often have chips on them from the plastic um, from the Ultra Premium Collection. And next, of course, we have the Charizard from the same collection. Now we have this one in an 8.5, which is pretty good, but um, when I actually submitted this to be graded, it was a lot cleaner than what I at least suspected an 8.5 would be. And it actually came back with a little bit of a scratch on the top there. You might be able to see it in the video. And I'm afraid that that probably happened during the encapsulation process and it actually likely affected the grade, which is a little unfortunate because it was not there before. And I did think this was a serious candidate for a 10. But, you know, stuff happens. Grading is always a gamble. Next, speaking of Charizards, I have this very beat up Shadowless Charizard from Base Set. Now, this card is actually pretty unique to me as well, because I obtained it in a very small trade for a very good price uh, for the card that it is, of course. And I actually tried submitting this to PSA first, and I was actually hoping for a PSA 1. But I have over here actually a holder that I got back from grading. And it appeared that they graded it as altered, so they didn't actually put it in a holder or get it a grade. So I resubmitted to CGC because I knew that they would grade altered cards or damaged cards that are beyond the one. And it actually came back a two, which is a little surprising to me. Uh, maybe someday I'll submit it back to PSA and see if we can get a one or a two. Moving on, we have. A metal card from the Arceus Ultra Premium Collection. These cards are not super special besides being the only other metal cards so far. Um, I know that Pokemon 151 has some metal Mews in an Ultra Premium Collection coming. And you can look forward to those, I will be opening that up on the channel once it comes out. We have this one in a 9.5. Of course we have the Arceus V in a 9. super heavy hitter, but I did get it in a PSA 10, and the reason I graded it is because I'm just a huge Garakina fan, and I love the look of this card, and I pulled it myself on the release day of the last version, and I sure enough, it did come back at 10. It's a very pretty card, you can see. And moving on, I have another personal favorite, Larian Moltres V. This one is an M8, which is not bad, pretty good. Um, this is from Brilliant Stars, it's a secret rare, and I am a huge fan of the Galarian Moltres just because I love the color scheme. Um, and speaking of the Galarian Moltres, I do have the alternate art from Chilling Rain from the PSA Martin. This is another one of my absolute favorite cards. This is actually probably my second favorite alt art besides the uh, Umbreon. Um, I love the color 
Fire Skin once again. And just the art of this guy. I don't know. I just, I don't know what gets me. I love it so much. And moving on to another alt art, we have the Dialga V from Astral Radiance. Now, I pulled this one myself as well. I did get it in an E. It's not too bad. I love the way that the colors look. Very pretty, very underrated. Mm. Next up we have we have the Charizard alternate from Golden Stars. I got this one in a nine, and I pulled this one myself. This one's actually interesting because this was from the first booster box that I ever opened. I I came back to the hobby. Um, actually around the time Brilliant Stars came out, um, and previously I had never opened an actual booster box of Pokemon, and so I went out and bought a Brilliant Stars booster box, and I actually pulled this card myself, which was very exciting, and part of what got me into the hobby. But I love this alternate art, it's a very popular one, and this was sort of chill there. Era. Another Charizard, we have the Special Delivery Charizard from the PSA 9. This is from the Pokemon Center uh, promotion. Pretty cool card. I don't have any of the other Special Deliveries yet, but I am hoping to get them sometime. Next we have the Celebrations Charizard. And this card is also interesting because I came back to the hobby a little bit after Celebrations was released. So I was not able to actually buy any Celebrations products because they were all sold out because it was very popular. Um, just like the UPC cards, I actually had to buy those separately. Um, in this card, I actually found one, I think it was a Pikachu V Union box in Walmart. It was just like hidden on the shelf and no one picked it up. And I wanted to open up some Celebrations myself, so I got it. And I actually pulled this card from it, which is very exciting, and I think this is one of the top cards in that set, if not the top card. Okay, so we're going to put this in mind. And also we have the Charizard V-Star, uh, Rainbow, from Golden Stars. I actually pulled this card from the exact same booster box as the Charizard Ultimate, which is very exciting. Uh, that's very good luck from my part, I guess. We have PSA 9. I like the look of this rainbow. Um, yeah. Next we have some older cards. We have a Flareon from Jungle. It's holographic. It's a PSA 8. It's nothing super special, but I do have two more Flareons. This one is a first edition of the exact same Flareon. And this one's in a PSA 2, which, you know, it's, <laughs> it's just good, but, um, it is a very cool card. First editions are always fun to have. Uh, it's honestly not in too off of condition. Or it's hidden. Maybe someday it'll be cracking from the bottom. But, you know, it's a very nice card. And then to complete the collection, I actually have a no symbol Flareon from Jungle in a PSA 6. You can see it's an error because it does not have a jungle symbol here. Like this card has. You can see the jungle symbol right there, and this card does not have it. It's a pretty neat error. Not super uncommon, or not super common. Next we have this card, which is pretty cool. We have a Pokemon Southern Islands uh, Mew, Hollow, and uh, a PSA 5. Now I graded this card, I know it's not in perfect condition, but it has a lot of swirls on color patterns, which I think is just very cool, I just wanted to keep it encapsulated. You can see the one there, I know there's at least five, there's one up here, there's one in the corner here. Gyarados Hollow. Now this card actually was just a gift uh, to me. Um, I was trading with someone on Reddit actually, um, and 
was just helping them out. Uh, I think I sent them a few cards that they needed to complete the collection. And they just, they sent me this card, this is a thank you. And so after I did it, so I could just get my collection and turn out the item eight, which is pretty cool. And lastly, we have a Dark Blastoise Hollow from uh, Pokemon Team Rocket. So this is on a PSA 8. It's a pretty cool card. I'm, I like Blastoise just as much as Charizard. I know Charizard gets out of love. Very cool Blastoise card. into the card that I'm giving away. All of these slabs in the back are actually from a uh, collection of these kind, these type of cards that I bought. I bought a few, uh, I think about 100 of the 1999 movie promos sealed, and I actually uh, have a bunch of those I graded, all the ones that I thought were the best. I did get a few outliers. This one is a six, and this is, this is the slab I'd be giving away. And they were starting off small, but once we get some more subscribers and we can get some more traction, I will be giving away possibly some of these slabs. But this is the card I'll be giving away. It has a nice golden stamp, as you can see. And it is a pretty clean six. There must be a micro dent somewhere to cause it to get a six. But it's a pretty clean card. Once again, to uh, to apply to the giveaway, all you have to do is like the video, be a subscriber, and leave a comment on the video. And I will select a winner in the comments, and from there, I'll message you, and we'll work something out. So, thank you all for watching. Thank you again for 250 subscribers. And, yeah, have a good one.